Hi guys, you're joining me here today at Diamond Light Source. It's 2017, they're celebrating their 15th anniversary, 10 years in service. It's an amazing building full of amazing people doing amazing stuff. And we caught up with Jonathan Spires to look at some of the Cadence software that he's using to design some of the amazing boards that are in here. Come on, let's go and have a look. This is basically the optic touch, so once the x-rays have been generated off the electrons being spun around diamond, they come into the optic touch, which is where they then tune the beam with x-rays and get the x-rays set up with the right diameter and the right energies for use in the end station. Typically on the beam line like this, we'd have our chips installed at the end of the beam line, so when they fire the x-rays down the beam line and it hits the sample holding the sample holders, then our chips will pick up the scatter off that and then the scientists can get this information displayed on their screen and interpret from that what's going on with the sample. Um, basically these products are they're used for detecting x-rays so here at Diamond Light Source we have lots of scientists that bring samples in want to um, illuminate them with x-rays and then they want to look at the resultant x-rays that scattered off them because they can use this to find out information of how um, different materials or proteins or whatever are made up on the inside so they can then come up with better ways of manufacturing say a turbine blade on an aircraft or they can try different ways of producing effectively new medicines. So one of the major tools that they will need is a sensor to be able to look at the result and scatter the x-rays. Okay. So here at Diamond we came part of a collaboration with CERN mm -hmm. which developed a small pixel detector which was approximately 14 mil square with 256 by 256 pixels across the surface of it. Okay. With this readout system you can then put whatever sensor you want on made by various sensor manufacturers around the world like the likes of Canberra they can get bump bonded onto this ASIC and then this ASIC can be plugged into a readout system and put into a beam line, samples hit with x-rays, the scatters are picked up by this complete readout system, the results are then displayed on the screen in a piece of software like this or a custom interface that's developed by whichever institution it is and the scientists can interpret it, the results from that. For designing this board we use both parts of the Cadence software, we use both the schematic and the layout. So for this particular design we had the single one that was already designed through the engineers in Diamond. Um, once we decided on the dimensions that we wanted for the PCB, this is where the software really came into its usefulness. Because it has a lot of LVDS signals in it, we can use the constraints manager to set up constraints for the pairs, track lengths, impedance control, phase difference so we're able to set up all those parameters within cadence and then making the layout a lot simpler in terms of you just join the dots together, route the track, it gives you the warnings on cadence if they're out of phase or anything like that or you can go back later in the design and tune the design once you've laid it out to bring things within the constraints that the engineers have come up with for the signal integrity. The 3D helps brilliantly in terms of um, it gives you an idea of how you're laying the PCB out especially if you're looking at planes and interactivity with tracks and also now that we have the 3D model features within Cadence that we're now starting to use in this software as well this has an added bonus that when we're laying it out obviously you've got to build an enclosure for it to go into afterwards so we can start looking at this we can export DXFs or step files to produce 3D models that can be passed straight onto the mechanical engineers so they can create an enclosure for it and not have to ask us so many questions or try and understand about what's where on the PCB. <laughs> so you do the board first, then the enclosure? Yes. Okay, excellent. Super.